It's like, it's like that's only 40%. That would be kind of rude, wouldn't it? So, I don't know. Uh, Balkans dominance, yes. We are going to be puppeting Bulgaria. No, we're not, because we need 400,000 men in the fields, not in the army. I knew that, and I knew what I was doing, but we just didn't deploy the things faster. 9 or 10 times Austria reunites with you. I mean, that makes sense. Wouldn't it make sense historically? If, like, in the past, Hungary was like, hey, Austria, let's get the band back together. Let's form the, the, the empire again. I'm pretty sure Austria would sort of decide to, like, when you think about being squished between Italy and Germany, I think you'd, uh, I think you'd want to join as many people as you can. All right, so, embezzlement scandal for 120 days. Oh, you're killing me here. You're killing me here. Get minus 25% factory output? That's ridiculous. Production efficiency growth minus 5% for 90 days, or for 90 political power. This is literally, this, is, this isn't even fair. Come on. Or you're going to take 25% because I don't want to get rid of our political power. We could use it for something in the future, like conscription. We want higher conscription. Give me that. Thank you. We want more men to throw down. We want more men to throw at them. Because when we force abdication, we're going to lose 1% of our manpower. So, we want to keep that, actually. I hope you all have some suggestions for me, because I have no clue what I'm exactly doing. Um, I have 20 combat with. I'm going through artillery. I'm doing basically the only thing I know how to do, which is the basics. If I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, we can't grab that artillery yet. We should probably grab better something, I'm sure. So something? Paratroopers, maybe? Planes? Something? I don't know. Uh, we don't really want the armor because we're not going to be doing much armor. Well, we do have some armored divisions. Maybe we should grab some better armor. They're all going to be light, so it wouldn't even take too much of our time just to do that. Oh, hey, look at that. It's Republican Spain. But up, but up, but Of course they took it. Of course they managed to get it. I mean, let's see if you're right. Yeah, 5 to 9 divisions. That's ridiculous. Okay, I'm doing that. I'm doing that. I'm going to be playing as Portugal, and I'm just going to murder... Whoever wins, alright? But at the same time, if I think about it correctly, if you have the justification on them, then they will probably keep their troops. I mean, that seems logical to me. They, they, they would probably keep their troops if you justify on them. I have, I have no clue, though. I think that is what maybe happened to me in the middle of uh, middle of my Portugal game. Oh, Unsound Divisions. Yes, good. By the way, I'm going to have to take a second just to sort of, just to sort of, thank you. Thank you for the follow. That's like, you know, got to take time out of every single time that it happens because like it, it happens far and few between, but you know, I, I just have to like toss that thank. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Oh, we were rising that manpower. Man, I wish I had a little bit of a better CPU. I could, you know, have less clipping frames. That'd be great. I think, I think people like to watch better when your claims... When you're, uh, your claims, oh my god. When your flames just, uh, eh, eh, English. When your frames stop clipping is what I was trying to say this entire time, but, you know, words don't often work the way it's supposed to. Also, I think I missed someone speaking words. Uh, Otto von Habsburg actually tried to come back to his throne and reformed after Hungary, but Horthy actually said no. Oh! That's actually interesting. Alright, that's a little bit of tid tidbit of history that I'd like to know. Alright, that's actually very, very cool. I often think about that sometimes. Right. And then, I don't think they keep the troops. Also, their production is tanked because the fighting ruins the factories and infrastructure. That is true. That is true. There is no way of getting around that. They do take a little bit of damage to their... Well, not a little bit of damage. To the entire country. It doesn't matter who who loses or who wins. The entire country is basically just ruined for uh, for quite some time while they have to repair things. That is that is correct. That's correct. Also, welcome back to... The, or not welcome back. I suppose it's welcome to the stream. Someone else has joined. I hope you will... Find some fun here. We are going as Communist Romania. We're going to be joining the common turn and seeing what we can do with that. Um, we can force abdication right now because we did grab the newest thing. Also, we have more military factories. We want this and probably this. Okay. Yes, that sounds good to me. Uh, we need more resources, but at the same time, can we afford to? Not entirely. A little bit, but not entirely. Alright, we're going to go Force Abdication, because that'll give us extra stability, and we get... What do we even get from that? Like, what's good out of this? 
If you chose to oppose Hitler and don't do rebuild the nation after the Civil War. Yeah. That's true, because, like, because it ruins your entire country, then. Yeah. Yeah, because your infrastructure, and there's the political focus, like, right... Yeah, right there. Factory repair speed and free repairs, so. Yeah. Okay, so I, w I want you to tell me, what is what is even the point of force abdication? Like, what, what do you even get out of this? Like, you get, he retires, okay. You get figure, you get the figurehead king, which gives you plus 5% stability, fantastic. But for, like, an entire year, you get political power gain decrease, and you have more consumer good factories. Is it even worth doing it? Like, is the 5% stability even worth getting that year of just decreased everything. I don't know. I don't I don't think so as much as like I can decrease this now and then maybe afford to later on get the extra civilian factories or um you know what is it what is it called the super good factories. I mean, I can afford to later on, but for now, no. I need to uh sort of mobilize my army as much as possible. I'm going to have to like literally just drop everyone down. I need as many people in the army as possible. Uh, kind of like, uh, uh, what does the buff that is removed do? Uh, the buff that is removed gives you 1% recruitable population. And so you, d you literally just lose 1% recruitable population. Oh, it removes the debuffs? I mean, oh, that's true because of the stupid things this guy does. Because of the stupid things the king does. It removes those debuffs. That's... Okay. That's what it does. You get King's Michael, King Michael's coup. But hold on. Can't you just do that without it? Can't you do that without... Because it just says all you need to do is... You're fully independent and you have more than 25%. I mean... If, if it is the way I think it is, where you can just do it without going force abdication... Then what's the point? Maybe you get maybe it's like a chance of getting a new a new king or a, a new leader who might give you better things. And I think that's just about it. Like it might just all be about the leader, probably. That's what I'm guessing at least. Like the the new leader might give you political power or something. We need twenty five percent war support. <laughs> it's not the war support I think. It's the world tension, isn't it? Yeah, 25% world ten uh, world tension. We have we have to we have 64% war support. We're fine. I don't I'm not sure if that's a joke. King Michael removes King Carol II's lifestyle. Okay. And becomes the leader for the Nine Line Party. Yeah, it is world tension. Yeah. So it removes the, the lifestyle, which is the thing that he does the stupid things with, right? And so if that's what removes the stupid events that are that are like reduced production or reduced manpower, or not manpower, but uh, it's either it's either political or it's production. So political power like minus ninety or it's production, those are the stupid things that he does, right? And so if just the coup can fix that, then why should I even care about the abdication? I don't know. I have, I don't I don't know maybe someone who's a better player can like figure it out and let me know and what they can probably give me a lecture on why it's a better idea than 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 something else I don't know maybe it's for the completionist maybe it's for the fun I don't I don't know I really just have no idea uh, how many factories do we have here we have an excess of six we could use. We use one to grab the iron we need, or the steel from France, because we need some some French steel. I mean, it's possible we could just like be, make French communists too. Hmm. Hmm. They do have some uh, high popularity for for communism. Then again, it might just crush us all. I don't know. It's not. It's probably not worth the time, considering that World War II is going to start in two years anyway. So no longer get the effects from the embezzlement scandal. Yes, thank you. Please, oh God. It's literally painful. Like, it's actually painful, considering our production just, it's not good as it is, and it just needs to get better. Uh, yes, construction speed, that'll be, I'm okay with that. And then, let's head over to... Oh, 
Forever Civil War. I'm not going to be doing Civil War. I cannot bother to. In the meantime, all we need to do is just drop down as many troops as possible. Drop. Actually, send them to a new army so where they can train. Uh, probably should have done that earlier. You. Over there. Is that it? No, I'm sure I had more. I'm sure I had more. Okay, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I didn't have more. I'm lying. I guess I'm just lying to you. We have a lot of manpower. Surprisingly, Romania can fit a lot of people in it. I don't know how, but... It can fit tons of people in it. Alright, so infrastructure. That would be nice. Uh, fortify the borders. It would be good against the Axis. When we... When the Axis inevitably declares war, because I have historical focuses on. So when Germany declares war on the, on the Soviet Union, then just sort of, like, having this would be good. And of course, we could just annex all of Hungary instead of puppeting them. I mean, we have the manpower we need, really. They have no estimated manpower right now because they are not allowed to rearm yet. They are not allowed to rearm. I could support the rearmament, or I could just completely say no, uh, go die, and that's it. Say no to rearmament. Uh, I think they're more likely to despise me and try to go to war with me, but at the same time, that just makes them easier to, to take, so... I don't know. Maybe next time you could reform Austria-Hungary. That would be cool. That would be cool. I think I might... Uh, it's kind of a toss-up because I could play as Spain or I could play as Hungary. Who knows? I might play as Austria, too. Does Austria have it? Austria is basic? Seriously? I mean, I guess since they get, like, Anschluss so early, so... But, like, I kind of expected Austria to have, you know, similar things to, to Hungary where they can be like, yes, let's reform the Austro-Hungarian Empire. I mean, I'm just... Because, you know, two parts of the coin there, so... I, I don't know. I, I, would, I would assume that maybe Austria had something. Yugoslavia has things, and then they get, like, beaten up by Italy early. That's not fair. <laughs> Bulgaria is basic. Yes. Turkey's basic, too, I think. Uh, King implicated in embezzlement scandal. Not again, please. I could spend the 90 and not get the material designer for what we want. We're not really doing motorized are we? We're doing artillery. I kind of want the artillery, though. Well, I kind of want the production more than the artillery, so... I guess that's just how that's gonna be. Also, we have the tanks, but are we gonna, like... I mean, I know we have some tank divisions, like this one there, and we have like a few over... Wait, no, we we have one, right? We seriously have one? Okay, I'm gonna pretend I never said anything. Uh, yeah, we're, we're just gonna... Okay, we're just gonna do that. Something for the army to train. There's a mod that lets Austria do old glories and start with either Austria-Hungary or the Austrian Empire. They can do... They can eventually do the Holy Roman Empire, I believe. Oh, that's interesting. How would that work, the Holy Roman Empire? I have no clue. Like, I, I know how it works because I play EU4, right? But at the same time, Red 56, it might be. I might actually try out that mod. It sounds interesting now. Now you've got me intrigued. I might do it. Uh, motorized and... <sighs> we have to make motorized then. I don't want to make so many... I don't want to make tons of tanks. I didn't want to. I didn't want to get into that part of the game. I didn't want to get into the tank the tank game, but I think we might have to do something about it. That does require us to do some other things like give me some motorized and then reduce our towed artillery just for it. Which pains me, I guess, but at the same time it is what it is. We don't have enough rubber either. Oof. Alright. Oh well. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, and then artillery's fine. Do we have any more? No, okay, we can't. We can't add any more. I mean, it's good for the breakthrough, right? So I could do this, but I don't know. I don't really know. After we throw down enough men, um, we will be able to tell Bulgaria to become a puppet, and they will probably do so. I, I mean, every game I've played so far, they've done it, so. I'm assuming Bulgaria will, again, accept to become a puppet. And once these guys are done training... Oh, that'll take a while, won't they? Because they need things. 
Right. The R2, which is the next uh, tank. I don't care about replacements as much. So we're going to get things done. I can't grab that. Can't grab that yet, but it might be worth just starting it a little bit ahead of time. Let's do that. 0 0.1 years is not a big problem, right? So. So I, I wonder how the Yugoslavia game plays out, because it seems you can do a ton of things. Dear God, that is a huge tree. Much, much larger than I would have expected like a country like Yugoslavia to have when they get crushed so early. Who knows, maybe if you actually play this tree well, you won't get uh, Croatia uprising in your country every time you try to play the game. Who knows, maybe. So army maneuvers, we could go with that actually. That might be a good idea. Just to grab maybe... The armor divisions are good, but we won't really be able to, we won't really be able to like, reinforce, because that's medium armor. I don't exactly have medium armor, and I don't plan on going medium armor. Uh, let's start with the navy first, because we're going to want to invade Turkey as well. So, I don't know. I also just don't want to get crushed by the Germans, because I know the they do want to... Would you like to see a custom focus tree I made? Uh, yeah, that would actually sound pretty cool. It would actually sound like really, really cool, actually. I might try to find time in the middle of the stream, or it might be after stream, it depends, but uh, either way, if it's after stream, I will get back to you on that, because probably on, like, you probably sent it on, like, the Hoi 4 subreddit, right? I mean, if he didn't, then it's 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 free upvotes. I mean, hmm. alright. So else, what else do we need to do here? Uh, we could maybe become communist one of these days. Deleted the link to it. Oh, that's actually unfortunate. Uh, steel, steel. We need steel. Uh, we have seven factories. We could grab one more out of this and then go and ask for some steel from France again. Because France actually won't hate us because we're not going to join the Axis. So, that's fine. Uh, yes, deploy everyone. Everyone needs to be deployed. Literally everyone needs to be. We have 387,000 in the field. Yes, everyone needs to be deployed. And then it doesn't even matter if you're fit to fight or not because Bulgaria will will crumble anyway. They'll, they'll be crushed under the pressure. I would, like, even use my main armies to crush them. It'd be fine. Like, just one of them, too. I need 20% on this. What am I at? Not 20%. 15%. Okay. That's fine. Oh, I can feel my CPU burning itself alive. Okay. There we go. We have enough people in the field. And we're just about to finish this focus as well. Wow, that is really good timing. I'm proud. I'm proud of all of us, actually. I say I'm proud of myself, but seriously, yeah, that's fine. Uh, Hungary wants rearmament. I could absolutely just beat them up. I could do that. Okay. So, you're, so the focus tree is just... I believe you, though. I believe that you made one, because, like... Any dedicated Hoi 4 fan, probably once in their lifetime, has dreamt up one. Alright, so... I could say to Hungary, no, no rearmament for you, and I could just go around and attack them. But, does that get rid of my ability to, to like, focus them down? So I want to be able to use a focus on them. Align Hungary. It would... Actually, they're not going to be a puppet. I'm literally just going to be, like, removing them. Oh, hold on. They might actually... Oh, yeah, you were right. I just... I just... I just think... I just thought about it. Okay. Let them rearm, because if I align them... If I align them, then they're just... Be they're just gonna be... Yes, King like Likelis is available, which is good. But if I... If I let them rearm... Then... They would have said no, and I would be able to full annex them. But instead, they're probably gonna become a, pup a puppet. If I don't let them rearm, they're just gonna be like, yep, puppet time, and I'm like, oh, okay, that's that's good. It's not what I wanted to do. Uh, whoops, whoops, I guess. 
That was uh, that was a mistake in half, isn't it? Yeah, we're just gonna pretend that didn't happen. I I definitely should have let them rearm. You are correct, hundred percent. Um. Also, welcome to the stream. Someone just joined, and I hope you enjoy your time here. We're playing as Kingdom of Romania, and we are trying to become communist. We require five percent more before we can actually, you know, do what we need to. But yeah, blood agreement. Uh. All right, you you let me know. Hey, check his flock. He got the event as well. Friends intervenes in the Hungarian rearmament crisis. In the personal letter, yes, I'm not gonna be able to pronounce that name. It's urges to reconsider our stance on the Hungarian rearmament issue. So yes, no, uh, the the blood agreement. Yugoslavia, uh, Romanians. Yes, okay. we they gave us another. They gave us another chance. We should do it, right? We should do it. We should let them rearm. I think. So I'm gonna do that. Um. Yes, let's... Okay, that's, uh... Right, right. We, we probably should have let them rearm in the first place before we had to go to the safeguard, but... Yeah, we want to actually invade them. So we let them rearm so that they won't crush under our pressure, only to crush them by force. That sounded kind of poetic, and I'm proud of that, so... Yeah. Well, I mean, more equipment would be better. Yes, give me give me this equipment, actually. And then I have dockyards, so... Destroyer and a convoy? Maybe. Sounds good to me. More convoys, more, more things, so... Uh, yes, group up. I didn't do that thing that I should have been doing. This thing. There you go. And then we're just gonna let people, you know, grab the things they need. Uh, you are good, ready to get sent to the front lines. I mean, everyone technically here, except for the couple of, you know, some of the young'uns. But, most most people. After the coup, we are going to puppet Bulgaria. Right. And then, we're going to try and actually invade Hungary. Not just puppet them, but actually invade them. They have no manpower, but I'm sure they are allowed... Yeah, secret rearmament. <laughs> Doesn't even matter. Blood agreement. Where I'm sure they will start rearming. Interesting. Seems so far, though, I can barely read the focuses. 